Hi guys and welcome back to Everyday May here on We Film Things. So I did mention at the start of Everyday May that I would take you through some of my creative processes. So I'm coming at you today with a studio vlog of all things. <laughs> So I'm currently at home in Prague visiting my family and this video has come about because my mom has made a slightly odd request of me to paint her speakers. She has this painting in the living room and she wants to make the speakers match the painting and she decided that I would be an appropriate person to do that. We shall see. I've never painted speakers before. I've never painted wood before. I don't even know if they're really wooden. So this should go real well. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> so first I had to do a bit of research on what paints to use. I decided on acrylics because they're versatile and easy to use. We then went to the art shop where the lady recommended that I get a primer that is basically specific for furniture and some spray varnish to top it off. All right, so I'm having a little test of the paints on some cardboard and this is what it's turning out like. Not sure if I'm 100% happy with it. After looking through all the paints, we've gone for ones that are much bluer than I wanted originally. I want to finish. You done? Why, why are you talking in there, Arishka? It's a video. I then had to tape up the bits of the speaker that I wasn't painting and hope that that was enough protection not to ruin the electrics inside. And with the speaker all taped up, I proceeded to sandpaper the whole thing down. You're very, very good job. What is it? You're drinking? It's alcohol, you can't have it. Okay. Mostly just to get rid of any existing varnish, but also to roughen the surface up a little bit so that the paint hopefully wouldn't just peel off. Angel wings are not mandatory for this. Then we painted the primer on, which had a blocker in it for any old varnish. And the top is done, so you have to do this bit, okay? We are almost finished. Yeah, that's right. It did some later hard work. And once the primer was dry, I painted a white base coat all over the entire speaker using a pretty rough brush because I wanted that brush stroke texture to stay visible. Now onto the fun part, the colour. I started off with swooshing a bit of background colour on, which was basically just some grassy, wheaty tones at the base of the speaker where it would be darkest and then fading upwards into the white base coat. Once I had a bit of base colour down, I moved on to painting in the subject of the painting, so the long grass and the flowers. And yes, I did go back to the store to get some purple paints for these. pretty late, so I hit the hay. Right, so I'll show you where I got to with the speaker last night. This is kind of it at the moment. It's got like little plants going around it. I haven't finished with this side yet. But basically what I need to do today is finish the kind of grassy bits and then start doing like the shadows and highlights and like that I feel like will finish it off. I'm fairly happy with it. I feel like I was happier with it when uh, I hadn't put the grass in yet. The kind of rough, like more abstract look was quite cool, but um, we're trying to make it match that painting. I mean, part of the reason I don't like the grass is because it's really hard to get the lines straight. What is the trick for that? Do I just have the wrong brush or, cause I'm really struggling. Like, look at how wobbly these lines are. By wobbly, I mean the thickness varies quite a lot, so I don't know if it's just like my incompetence or if it's like the brushes or whatever. But hopefully it'll look okay once it's done. And once all the painting was done and dry, I sprayed a few coats of acrylic sealant on top to make sure the paint stays in place. And this is a finished result. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you'd like to see more studio vlogs from me then make sure you give this video a little thumbs up so I know you liked it. Subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.